instead of just putting our heads down and speeding past her and muttering that she must have done something to get like that, we can ask her if she's in trouble and we can offer her help. There is a different way. That's why John Ranson raves at the tattoo parlor. That's why John adopts dozens of stray dogs. That's why he devotes night after night to studying and writing about climate change. That's why he contacted a national radio show and asked me to come investigate. And that's why I now see John is devoting so much energy to what is arguably his most ambitious project of all, radically altering the life of Tyler Goodson. Tyler almost embodies everything I hate about this shit town in one convenient package. Have you ever thought of it that way? I bet you haven't dared. As the months have gone by since my trip to Alabama, I've heard more and more about Tyler. I've learned all about his tough childhood, the petty legal troubles that continue to dog him, his persistent financial problems, his struggle to support his three daughters, whom he had by the age of 21, and whom he loves dearly. John has devoted his life to restoring old clocks. Methodically and thoroughly, he sorts through the busted parts of these timepieces, trying to revive a sense of beauty and order. And in a way, that's what he's attempting to do with Tyler. Every time John picks up the phone and I ask what he's up to, Tyler's either there, or he was just there, or he's waiting for him to get there. It seems like he's giving him consistent work. John's also been accompanying Tyler to court and hiring him a lawyer to help him clear up some misdemeanor charges and get his driver's license back. And Tyler's recently moved to the trailer park across the street from John, so now he can easily walk to John's place. John's even talking about writing Tyler and his brother Jake into his will. I don't want these two bastards to know this, but when I fall over dead, each one of them is going to get 20 ounces of gold each. I'll, uh, I'll keep that secret. <laughs> That's assuming the goddamn cops don't come in and steal it. But John's relationship with Tyler is not just as a benefactor. I can tell that they get something more from one another. John will mention a walk he and Tyler took through the woods or an expedition they made to the junkyard to search for treasures, or he'll recount some bit of their conversation. They like to spend time together. One day John was on the phone with me, and he looked out his window and started listing off the flowers that were in bloom in his yard, and the ones that were dying. He sighed and said, It's tedious and brief. That's a sundial motto. Tedious and brief. Before we had clocks, we had sundials. And I never thought about this until I started talking to John. But watching a sundial which could be as simple as a stick in the ground. As the shadow crept along, you were actually witnessing the rotation of the Earth. It's so much less abstracted than a clock, a level closer to time itself. Anyway, John told me sundials often have mottos engraved on them. John says tedious and brief is one. What do you mean? Tedious and Your brief. life is tedious and brief. All sundial mottos are sad like that. There are hundreds of these mottos. Life passes like the shadow. Make haste, but slowly. Use the hours, don't count them. Even as you watch, I'm fleeing. Soon comes night. These little reminders are out there, hidden in crannies around the world. I recently happened upon a sundial in the cemetery of an old Catholic mission next to a grave. Because of John, I knew to look for the motto. It read, Neil Boney Hodier. DM Perditi. I did nothing good today. I have lost a day. You know, I told you I used to make sundials, but, you know, I made them for the mathematical exercise. You know, I would pick difficult dials to do as a test of my abilities of geometry and trigonometry. And these are things I wish Tyler and Jake could experience. There's a real excitement in geometry and trigonometry that just, you know, um, I think when we was building the swing, yeah, I built a swing for Tyler. This is one of the ways John and Tyler have been passing the hours together lately. They've been constructing an adult swing set, a giant rectangular frame to the side of John's house, not far from the apple trees, with a single John Deere tractor seat hanging from it. It has a 20-foot arc of action, John says, which I understand to mean it's a pretty gnarly swing. When John first told me about it, he'd said he was building it for himself, but now he amends that. Yeah, you know, I think I built a swing for Tyler, actually. <laughs> I found out that an old man 50, when he swings the swing for about 20 minutes, his back hurts and his knees hurt. So I didn't build it for me after all. Done found that out. <laughs> so I think I built it for Tyler. Fuck it. Oh, and I built him a pull-up bar, because he wants to be strong. I told him, well, it's 
Now, it's to be physically strong, but you need to be strong between the ears because physical strength goes away, you know. But you need to have strong neurons. And I told them you need to have a little bit of general algebra, but you should always have some trigonometry and you should have some geometry. What did he say? He never, I remember this conversation, and he never saw how any of that had anything you could do much with. I like imagining this odd pair, a polymathic middle-aged clock restorer and a tatted up kid in his 20s with a Harley and a revolver in his briefcase. Out in John's yard on a summer's day, staking swings that pulls into the ground, the dogs circling around them, maybe a butterfly fluttering by. I like imagining John interrupting their work for a minute to give Tyler a math lesson, feeling gratified that he has someone to give a math lesson to, and Tyler perhaps taking something from it, but at the very least humoring John, because he's grateful that John's helping him get his life together. I like knowing that this is how two people have chosen to spend an afternoon together in Bibb County, Alabama. Take the gifts of this hour, one sundial says. Another, it's later than you think. And I point out the diagonal chain that was going to shore up the, uh, uh, you know, upright. Of the swing set? Yeah, I told him the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two sides. He, he, he hadn't used Pythagoras' theorem. So he could calculate the length of the chain without climbing up on the goddamn top of the pole and pulling a damn diagonal with a tape measure. That was my answer. And what did he say? Mm, or something like that. Mm. Yeah, he has a lot of his daddy's mannerisms. Mm. It's often heard when there's not a, a significant answer. Uh, hold on, let me, hold on. I'm on piss in the sink. I hope that's politically incorrect. That's something that flips tr- Tyler out. Yes, I just pissed in the kitchen sink because uh, I, I, I tell him I can't, if, if the I, phone had enough signal, I just went out there and pissed near one of the gardeners, the Azaleas, the Camellias, or the Crape Myrtle. So they like ass. <laughs> But I didn't think the phone had enough signal, so instead of wasting three or four gallons to flush the commode, I just peed here in the kitchen sink and used about one cup full of water to flush the sink. And, and I got a little short dick, but I got a um, a pretty good aim, so I can usually aim right for the center of that damn thing without splashing everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. But in any event, uh, what was the question? I forgot. I forgot, too. Hey, is Jake around since Skyler? It's been a couple weeks since I last spoke to John, and I just got a text from Jake, Tyler's brother, asking me to call him when I get a chance. Yeah, this is Skyler. Uh, I was the one that called you. Jake texted you for me. Oh, um, hey. Has any... Hold on, we just want to text Has anybody called you? Um, no. Not that I know of. I have a, I have a few missed calls, but I don't think they're from anybody down there. Uh, Why? Well, um, we have some bad news to tell you. Okay. John B. killed himself Monday night. Somehow that's all 